ask people to name a famous natural landmark, the majority of people would most definitely say Niagara Falls. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. But there's a dark side to Niagara Falls you may not have heard about. Years ago, engineers drained the falls, discovering a horrifying secret hidden beneath the water for decades. A secret that left more questions than answers. What exactly did they discover? Why did they decide to drain Niagara Falls in the first place? We'll discuss all of this and more. What makes Niagara Falls so special? It's a group of three waterfalls with Horseshoe Falls acting as a natural border between the United States and Canada. Each year, around 25 million tourists visit just to see the falls. Niagara Falls has been a tourist attraction for around two centuries. It's especially popular among artists and photographers. Daredevils also make a beeline to Niagara just to challenge the rough waters. There's a fascinating history behind Niagara Falls. If you traveled back as far as 18,000 years ago, there would be no Niagara Falls. It was formed after giant glaciers melted away to form the waters. It did not immediately become the falls we see today. Instead, it took years for the water to erode the cliffs before they became the present-day waterfalls. While people love the falls now, there is no record of when it first became a landmark. There have been writings of it for hundreds of years. An early written record of the falls comes from a French explorer named Samuel de Champlain. Even though he went in the 17th century, Samuel was not the first person there. That honour goes to Father Louis Hennepin, another one who went exploring the region. Father Louis came back from his exploration and five years later wrote an article titled A New Discovery. This is when the falls appeared in print for the first time. This means the name Niagara Falls has been common since at least 1683. It wasn't immediately a tourist attraction, but by the 1800s, people were making trips to the falls. People with a business mind saw the potential and invested in hotels and restaurants, making it a popular destination for newlywed couples. But soon the very existence of Niagara Falls came under question. Considering the number of tourists Niagara Falls brings every year, it's a major revenue generator for both the United States and Canada. But in the 1960s, a problem was discovered with the falls. Talus, which are rocks that get collected at the base of waterfalls, were increasing at an alarming rate. It was believed that the talus could end up ruining the charm of Niagara Falls. The talus was reaching the halfway mark of the cliff, People noticed that the stream of water was decreasing on the falls. Since the waters are shared by two separate countries, an organization was set up to handle the shared water. It's known as the International Joint Commission. They intervened to see what was causing the problem with the water flow. Eventually, a solution was found. Since there was not much that could be done while the water flow remained, it was decided that the falls needed to be diverted. The US Army Corps of Engineers was asked to help with diverting the flow. To do so, they built what is known as a cofferdam. A cofferdam is a structure built within a body of water such as a waterfall. It helps pump the water out of this area. This way, work can take place below the waterline without any interference. To do this, engineers brought in a lot of trucks with rocks and earth. They needed about 27,000 tons of rocks and earth to create the cofferdam. 
The length of this dam was around 600 feet, and many even doubted if it was possible to complete. But the engineers had no doubts and were successful in stopping the water flow towards the American Falls. Of course, they couldn't stop the water from flowing. Instead, they rerouted the water towards the Horseshoe Falls so that they could work on the talus. There were concerns that such a diversion could cause a flood in the nearby lands. Locals were concerned that diverting the natural path could have disastrous consequences. There were also worries that tourism could take a hit while this restoration process was going on. Some believed the lack of water would bring in fewer tourists. Others felt such a strange and uncommon construction would actually create more interest. Unfortunately, tourism did suffer. By the time 1969 rolled around and the cofferdam was in place, the number of tourists fell drastically. Those who did come were able to take souvenirs from the site such as rocks and coins. This is where they made the discovery. When you go deep into areas that haven't been previously touched, you never know what you're going to find. If it's water, you'd probably expect to find a whole bunch of miscellaneous objects. Scientists were excited to see what the geological features would be, considering none of it had been visible for thousands of years. It's unlikely there would be skeletons, even though Niagara Falls happened to be a frequent spot for suicides. But that's exactly what the scientists found when they got rid of the water. There were skeletal remains of a man and a woman. There was no information about who those two people were and if they were related in any way. Naturally, this led to a lot of rumors. It was suggested the man was a person who some people had recently seen jump to his death from the falls. But no one had a clue as to who the woman could be. The skeletons themselves may not have been such a surprise if there were more of them. In fact, a number of bodies have been found at the bottom of the falls. Between the years 1850 and 2011, as many as 5,000 bodies were found. This in itself is not surprising. Around 20 to 40 people commit suicide at Niagara Falls every year. What's shocking about all this was that these two skeletons remained in that place. Add to this all the thrill seekers who come to the falls every year. People who have been doing inventive barrel rolls from as far back as the 1820s. In 1901, Annie Edson Taylor did a famous barrel roll in a wooden barrel over the falls. She suggested, after finishing her stunt of course, that nobody should ever do that again, as she had an awful experience. Unfortunately, a lot of them did not take her advice. Long after the cofferdam was taken down, there were others who tried similar barrel roll stunts. Carol Suchek, a Canadian stuntman, did in 1984. Jesse Sharp, another stuntman, traveled down the falls in a canoe and was never seen again. It turned out the Niagara Falls were drained for nothing. When the engineers decided to work on Niagara Falls and deal with the Talos, they were going in blind. But when the cofferdam was built and the scientists went there, it turned out the whole exercise was unnecessary. The talus was, in fact, acting as a support and protecting the cliffs. So if they had proceeded and removed the talus, they would have destroyed the falls completely. Despite all the effort, it turns out the falls were in no danger of drying out. They were at least able to study the area and get new information. Instead of removing the talus, the next idea was to build a permanent dam in the area. But that would have ended up just weakening the American Falls. In the end, they decided to leave the area as it originally was. Before they removed the cofferdam and restored the place, the engineers worked on stabilizing the falls. 
They used anchors and cables to jazz up the place and not interfere with the flow. The International Joint Commission even said at the time that man should not interfere with a natural process. The mysteries of nature are so interesting. They can be both terrifying and hilarious. Care to learn more? Let's keep your curiosity going with a couple more videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out the creepiest image found on Google Earth. Also, will you explode or die if you hold your poop for too long? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both, and learn more about the mysteries of life. Did you know about the 1969 draining of Niagara Falls before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.